Peter Nygaard appeared in court this afternoon, shackled and disheveled. He didn't say anything. American authorities asked the RCMP to arrest Nygaard, which they did Monday night. The Mounties say Nygaard is a danger to the community and a serious flight risk. In a sworn affidavit, the Mounties say they'd been watching a million-dollar home in a Winnipeg neighborhood for five days and arrested the 79-year-old fashion designer after seeing him peek out of a window. The news comes as a relief to his son, Kai. Just absolutely thrilled to find out that he's going to have to face a trial and go through the judicial process and not be able to just take off and with a pot of money offshore somewhere. Nygaard hosted so-called pamper parties at some of his homes, as well as poker games and dinners. In court documents filed in Winnipeg on behalf of the U.S., the FBI says those were ways he would get to his victims. The FBI calls Nygaard a predator, and they allege he sexually assaulted dozens, if not hundreds, of women and girls over a 25-year period and used company resources and staff to help him. Greg Gutzler's New York law firm filed the class action lawsuit against Nygaard in February. It was put on hold in August so that the FBI could complete its investigation. The lawsuit also alleged co-conspirators and enablers helped Nygaard commit his crimes. There was a system in place and there were dozens or hundreds of people involved in this thing. Peter Nygaard has been remanded into custody in Winnipeg and is expected to apply for bail before his next court hearing in January. He has said through his lawyer the allegations against him are all lies. Caroline Bargood, CBC News, Winnipeg.